क्वेश्चन वन एफ डिटर्मेंट ए बी सी बी सी ए एंड सी ए बी इज इक्वल टू के इन टू ए प्लस बी प्लस सी ब्रैकेट ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर प्लस माइनस बी सी माइनस सी ए माइनस ए बी देन के इज इक्वल टू वी हैव फोर ऑप्शन ए वन बी टू सी माइनस वन एंड डी माइनस टू वी टेक द डिटर्मेंट दैट इज ए बी सी बी सी ए सी ए बी we solve this we expand we get as a b c minus of a square minus of b b square minus c a plus c a b minus of c square we solve this for the we get minus a cube minus b cube minus c cube plus 3 a b c where we can take minus out we can write it as a cube plus of b cube plus of c cube minus of 3 a b c which is equal to minus of a plus b plus c a square plus b square c square minus of ab minus of bc minus of ca where which is equal to k is equal to minus 1 so our option is c option c is a correct answer question 2 the value of x obtained from the equation that is x plus alpha beta gamma gamma x plus beta alpha alpha beta x plus gamma equal to 0 will be we have four options a 0 and minus alpha plus beta plus gamma b 0 and alpha plus beta plus gamma c 1 and alpha minus beta minus gamma d 0 and alpha square plus beta square plus gamma square we solve by column that is we take c 1 Which is equal to we can write as C one plus of C two. We transfer the column C three. We get the determinant as x plus alpha plus beta plus gamma. X plus alpha plus beta plus gamma. X plus alpha plus beta plus gamma. Beta gamma. x plus beta alpha beta x plus gamma equal to zero. So we take x plus alpha plus alpha beta plus gamma outside. So we left with x plus alpha plus beta plus gamma one 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 beta x plus beta beta. gamma alpha x plus gamma equal to 0 so by row we shift second row and third row by r2 minus of r1 and r3 minus of r1 so we get new determinant that is x plus alpha plus of beta plus gamma That is one zero zero beta x zero alpha alpha minus sorry gamma this is gamma gamma alpha minus gamma x equal to zero. Further, we solve. We get as X plus alpha plus beta plus gamma. X square minus of zero equal to zero. We solve this. We get x square x plus alpha plus beta plus gamma equal to zero. So if we see, we get x is equal to zero and x is equal to minus. 
alpha plus beta plus gamma which is our option a option a is a correct answer question 3 if phi is one root of the equation where determine x 3 7 2 x minus 2 7 8 x is equal to 0 then the other two roots of the equation are a minus 2 and 7 b minus 2 and minus 7 so this is c 2 and 7 d 2 and minus 7 so given one root that is equal to 5 one root equal to 5 and the equation that is the determinant given x 2 7 3 x 8 7 minus 2 x determinant equal to 0 so expanding the given equation we get x x square minus of minus 16 minus of 3 2 x minus of 14 plus of 7 16 minus of 7 x equal to 0 so we solve this we get x cube plus 16 x minus of 6 x minus 42 plus of 112 minus 49 x equal to 0 for the solve we get x cube minus 39 x plus of 70 is equal to 0 since phi is one of the root of the given equation therefore we get x cube minus phi x square plus of phi x square minus 25 x minus 14 x plus 70 equal to 0 so we solve for the we take x square common that is we get x minus 5 plus of 5 x x minus 5 minus of 14 x minus 5 equal to 0 we get this as x minus 5 x square 5 x minus 14 equal to 0 we solve this further we get x minus 5 x minus 2 and x plus 7 so we solve we get x is equal to 5 2 and minus 7 which is our option d option d is a correct answer where we see that 2 and minus 7 are in the option so answer we get as 5 comma 2 and minus 7 so our option d is a correct answer question 4 if n is equal not equal to 3k and 1 omega omega square are the cube roots of the unity then we have determined that is 1 omega raised to 2 n omega n omega raised to n 1 omega raised to 2 n omega raised to 2 n omega raised to n and 1 has the value we have four options a 0 b omega c omega 0 and d 1 given in triangle a b c sorry we start with applying column that is c 1 c 1 plus c 2 plus c3 so we change the column 1 we get delta is equal to determinant of 1 plus omega n plus omega 2 n 1 plus omega n plus omega raised to 2 n 1 plus omega raised to n plus omega raised to 2 n omega n 1 omega raised to 2 n omega raised to 2 n omega raised to 1 and 1 determinant we see that 1 plus omega n plus omega raised to 2 n is 0 so we put the value so omega n 1 omega raised to 2 n omega raised to 2 n omega 1 raised to n 1 so we see that column 1 is totally 0 so when we solve we get the determinant as 0 so therefore option a is a correct answer question 5 in triangle abc if determine 1 1 1 acb and bac is equal to 0 then sin square plus sin square b plus sin square c is equal to we have four options 9 by 4 b 4 by 9 c 1 and d 3 by root 3 so we solve the determinant by expanding that is we get 1 
c square minus of a b minus a c minus of a plus b b minus of c equal to zero. We further solve we get a square b square plus c square minus of a b minus of b c minus of c a equal to zero. We write this as two a square plus two b square plus two c square minus of two a b minus two b c minus of two c a equal to zero. We further solve this we get a square plus b square minus of two a b plus b square plus c square minus of two b c bracket c square plus a square minus of two c a is equal to zero. We get this as a minus b the whole square plus b minus c the whole square plus c minus a the whole square equal to zero. Here the sum of the square of three members can be zero if and only if a is equal to b is equal to c. So triangle ABC is a equilateral. Triangle ABC is a equilateral triangle. So for that we have angle A is equal to angle B is equal to angle C which is equal to 60 degree. So sine square A sine square B sine square C we can put the value of 60 in the equation of sine. So we get sine square A plus sine square B plus sine square C that is equal to sine square of 60 sine square of 60 sine square of 60 which is equal to 3 into root 3 upon 2 the whole square which is equal to 9 by 4 which is our option A. Option A is the correct answer. Question 6 for the positive numbers x, y and z the numerical value of the determinant are 1 log, log to the base x 2y log to the base x z log to the base y x 1 log to the base y z log to the base z x log to the base z y and 1 is we have four options a 0 b 1 c log to the base e x y z and d none of this we solve the determinant by expanding that is 1 minus log to the base z y log to the base y z minus of log to the base x log to the base y x minus log to the base z x log to the base y z plus of log to the base x z log to the base y x log to the base z y log to the base z x we solve this we get as 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus log to the base x y log to the base y x plus log to the base x z log to the base z x minus 1 equal to 0 since log to the base x comma y into log to the base y to x is equal to 1 so therefore we can see that whole determinant is equal to 0 which is our option A is the correct answer question 7 L M N are the P Q and R term of G P all positive then log L log M log N P Q R 1 1 1 equals to we have four options a minus one b two c one and d zero let a be the first term and r be the common ratio of gp therefore we write a first term and r common ratio of gp so therefore we can write as l is equal to a r n minus of one so we take log on both the side we get log l we get log a plus of p minus 1 log of r similarly we take m is equal to a of r q minus 1 so we take log both the side we get log 
m is equal to log a plus of q minus 1 log of r for n we take a into r raised to r minus 1 taking log both the side we get log n log of a plus of r minus 1 log of r multiplying 1 2 and 3 we take this as 1 2 3 so multiplying 1 2 3 we get q minus r r minus p and p minus q respectively and adding we get log of q minus r plus of log of m r minus p plus log of n p minus q which is equal to 0 so therefore delta is equal to 0 so which is our option d option d is a correct answer question 8 if a comma b comma c be a positive not all equal then the value of the determinant a b c b c a and c a b is we have four options a negative b positive c depends on a b c or d none of this we take determinant we get as minus of a cube plus of b cube plus of c cube minus of 3 b c a b c so we solve this we get as minus a plus b plus c we get a square plus b square plus c square minus of a b plus of sorry this is minus minus of b c minus of c a we further solve it we get as minus of half a plus b plus c a minus b the whole square plus of b minus c the whole square plus of c minus a the whole square which is clearly negative because of the given condition if we see the answer is negative therefore the option a is a correct answer question 9 if x is equal to c y plus b z y is equal to a z plus c x z is equal to b x plus a y where x comma y comma z are not all zero have a solution other than x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0, z is equal to 0 then a, b and c are connected by the relation we have four options so we see that the system of homogeneous equation which are x minus y c y minus b z equal to 0 cx minus of y plus of az equal to 0 and bx plus of ay minus z equal to 0 has no non trivial solution since x y z are not all zeros therefore determinant is equal to min 1 c b minus c minus 1 a minus b a minus 1 which is determinant equals to 0 we solve this we get 1 minus a square plus of c minus c minus of a b minus of b a c plus of b equal to 0 we solve this further we get a square plus b square plus c square plus 2 a b c which is equal to 1 with this our option C option C is a correct answer question then the rank of a matrix minus 1 2 1 2 minus 4 minus 2 5 a minus 4 a plus 1 is we have four options a 1 if a is equal to 6 b 2 if a is equal to 1 c 3 if a is equal to 2 and d 1 if a is equal to minus 6 so we have a that is minus 1, 2, 1, 2, minus 4, minus 2, 5, a minus 4, a plus of 1. 
we operate the row method that is row we change r1 that is r1 plus of r3 and r2 is equal to r2 minus of 2r3 2r3 we solve this we get as 1 sorry 0 0 1 0 0 minus of 2 a plus 6 a minus 6 minus of a minus 6 a plus 1 we operate another row that is r1 r1 plus of r2 which we get as 0 0 1 0 0 minus of 2 0 minus of minus 6 a plus 1 when a is equal to minus 6 we get a that is the determinant of 0 0 1 0 0 minus 2 0 0 minus 5 which is equal to we get p of a equal to 1 so for when p a number of non zero rows so when p a is a non zero we can see that so we solve for when a is equal to 6 so for a is equal to 6 a we get as 0 0 1 0 0 minus 2 0 minus 12 7 so we solve this we get p a is equal to 2 therefore even at a is equal to 6 a is non-zero so when a is equal to 1 we get a is equal to 0 0 1 0 0 minus 2 0 minus 7 2 which is p is equal to 2 so for a is equal to 1 determinant is 2 so when a is equal to 2 we get determinant of 0 0 1 0 0 minus 2 0 minus 8 3 where p is equal to 2 so we can see that for every value of a we get a non-zero determinant so therefore for option we can see that option b and d we have the value of a equal to 1 is equal to 2 and for a is equal to minus 6 is 1 so therefore b and d are the correct answer question 11 if a is equal to determinant of 1 0 3 2 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 1 then we have four options that is a a cube plus 3 a square plus a minus 9 i 3 is equal to 0 b a cube minus 3 a square plus a plus 9 i 3 is equal to 0 c a cube plus 3 a square minus a plus 9 i 3 is equal to 0 d a cube minus 3 a square minus a plus 9 i 3 is equal to 0 we take a is equal to 1 0 3 and we solve for a minus 1 we take a square this is equal to a into a which is equal to 1 0 3 2 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 1 0 3 2 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 we solve this we get as 4 minus 3 6 3 2 4 0 minus 2 5 we solve for a cube we can write a cube as a into a square which is equal to 1 0 3 2 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 4 minus 3 6 3 2 4 0 minus 2 5 we solve this we get as equal to 
फोर माइनस नाइन ट्वेंटी वन लेवन माइनस टू लेवन वन माइनस सेवन सेवन फोर ए क्यूब माइनस ऑफ थ्री ए स्क्वायर माइनस ऑफ ए प्लस ऑफ नाइन आई क्यूब दैट इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो वेन वी सब्सिट्यूट दिस वैल्यूज ऑफ ए क्यूब of a square in every equation when we solve this so we get a cube minus 3a square minus a plus of 9a cube is equal to 0 which is our option d option d is a correct answer we can even solve for every value that is every options a and b c d but we get d as a correct answer so therefore d is a correct option Question twelve: If a and b are two square matrices such that b is equal to minus of a inverse one, b a inverse b into a, then c plus b the whole square is equal to. We have four options: a zero, b a square plus b square, c a square plus two ab plus b square, and d a plus b. Given b is equal to minus of a inverse b into a. We solve this. We solve. We multiply a on both the side. We get a b minus of a inverse into a b a, where a inverse and a get cancelled. We get minus a b a, which is equal to minus b of a. So now for a plus b, the whole square we can write as a plus b. Sorry, a plus b, a plus b. We solve this. We get a square plus a b plus of a b plus of b square. So this is b a plus of b square. So we left with a square plus b square. Since we know that we solve for b a is equal to minus of a b. So, for a plus b, the whole square is equal to a square plus b square, which is option B. Option B is a correct answer. Question thirteen: In an upper triangular matrix n into n, minimum number of zero is. We have a n into n minus one by two, b n into n plus one by two, c two n. Into n minus one by two and d none of this. We have determinant as we know a square matrix A is equal to A of i j is called an upper triangular matrix if A i j is equal to zero for all I greater than j, such as a is equal to one zero 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 two five zero zero four one two zero three three nine five. That is four into four matrices. So number of zeros equal to Four, four minus of one upon two, which is equal to six. So we can write it this as n n minus of one by two, which is our option A. Option A is a correct answer. Question fourteen: If A is equal to one minus two three two three one three minus one two, and I is a unit matrix of third order. Then a square plus nine i is equal to a two a, b four a, and c six a. And d none of this. We take a. That is the matrices one minus two three two three one three minus one two. We solve this for a square. That is a square is equal to a into a. We get as. Six minus eleven seven 
eleven four eleven seven minus eleven twelve where we have i is equal to one zero 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 one zero 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 one so we solve for a square plus nine i we get as fifteen minus eleven seven eleven thirteen eleven seven minus eleven twenty one So therefore, if we see that a square plus nine a is equal to fifteen minus seven seven eleven thirteen eleven seven minus eleven twenty one as a matrix which doesn't matches our options. Therefore, D is a correct answer, which is D none of this. Question fifteen. Let omega not equal to one be a cube root of unity. And S be the set of all non-singular matrices of the form one omega omega square a one omega b c one, where each a b and c is either omega or omega square. Then the number of distinct matrices in the set S is. We have four options a two b six c four and d eight. We have a b c which belongs to. Omega omega square. So for a, let a be equal to one omega omega square. A one omega. B c one. So we take determinant of a. We get as one minus a plus c omega plus of a c omega square. So for determinant a will be non-zero only when a is equal to c is equal to omega. So therefore, a comma b comma c is equal to omega omega and omega, or omega omega square omega. Therefore, number of non-singular matrices is equal to two. Which is our option A? Option A is a correct answer. Question sixteen: If S R is equal to alpha raised to R plus beta raised to R plus gamma raised to R, then the value of S zero one, S one, S two, S one, S two, S three, S two, S three, S four is equal to. We have four options, which is in alpha and beta. So we start by Substituting the value of s in determinant, so we can write it as for s zero. When we put the value of r in s zero, we get as alpha zero plus beta zero plus gamma zero, which is nothing but one plus one plus one, which is three. So same way, we gonna substitute all the value of one and two in r, so we get as as a determinant of three. Alpha plus beta plus gamma. Alpha square plus beta square plus gamma square. Same way we can write this as alpha plus beta plus gamma. We can write alpha square beta square plus gamma square. Alpha cube beta cube plus gamma cube. We can write this as alpha square. Beta square plus gamma square. We can write S three as alpha cube plus beta cube plus gamma cube. Alpha raised to four plus beta raised to four plus gamma raised to four. We can further solve this as one alpha alpha square one beta beta square one gamma gamma square one alpha. Alpha square, one beta, beta square, one gamma gamma square, which is equal to one alpha, alpha square, one beta, beta square, one gamma gamma square, raised to square. 
we solve this we get as alpha minus beta beta minus gamma gamma minus alpha the whole square we solve this as alpha minus beta square beta minus gamma square gamma minus alpha the whole square which is our option D option D is the correct answer question 17 if a is equal to determinant that is 1 minus tan theta by 2 tan theta by 2 1 and a b is equal to 1 then b is equal to we have four options a cos square theta by 2 into a b cos square theta by 2 a transpose c cos square theta by 2 1 d none of this we write we take determinant of a which we get as a 1 plus of tan square theta by 2 equal to sec square theta by 2 that we know as 1 plus tan square is equal to sec square theta so therefore a b is equal to 1 therefore b is equal to i of into a inverse so we can use this so we can write it as 1 0 0 1 1 of tan theta by 2 minus of tan theta by 2 1 upon sec square theta by 2 which is equal to cos square theta by 2 into a transverse which is our option b option b is a correct answer question 18 the value of determinant root 3 plus root 3 2 root 5 root 5 root 15 plus root 26 5 root 10 3 plus root 65 root 15 and 5 is we have four options given we take root 5 common from each of C2 and C3 that is column 2 and column 3 and rearrange the elements of the first column so we get as delta is equal to root 5 root 5 determinant of root 3 plus root 3 we get this as root 26 plus of root 15 root 65 plus of 3 2 root 5 root 3 1 root 2 root 5 split into two determinants the first of which will vanish take root 13 common from delta 1 and delta and root 3 from delta 2 so we get that delta is equal to 0 plus of 5 root 3 1 of root 5 root 3 2 root 5 root 3 1 root 2 root 5 determinant so applying column so we get we change c1 to c1 minus of c2 so we get delta is equal to 5 root 3 determinant of minus 1 0 0 2 root 5 root 3 1 root 2 root 5 so we solve this we get delta is equal to minus 5 root 3 5 minus root 6 equal to 5 root 3 root 6 minus of 5 which is our option b option b is a correct answer question 19 consider the system of equation in xyz as x sin 3 theta minus y plus z is equal to 0 x cos 2 theta plus 4y plus 3z is equal to 0 2x plus 7 by y plus 7z is equal to 0 if this system has no non-trivial solution the 4 integer n value of theta are given by we have 4 options which is in the form of n so given system of equation that is x sine 3 theta minus y plus z x cos 2 theta plus 4y plus 3z 2x plus 7y plus 7z equal to 0 this are homogeneous system of linear equation since system has non trivial solution so we can determine it as 
sin 3 theta cos 2 theta 2 minus 1 4 7 1 3 7 determinant is equal to 0 we solve this we get as sin 3 theta 28 minus of 21 plus of 1 7 cos theta minus 6 plus of 7 cos 2 theta minus of 8 equal to 0 we solve further we get 7 sin 3 theta plus 7 cos 2 theta plus 7 cos 2 theta minus of 40 equal to 0 3 sin theta minus 4 sin cube theta plus of 2 minus of 2 sin square theta equal to 0 so this will be 2 minus of 2 sin square theta minus of 2 equal to 0 so we further solve we get a sin theta we take sin as a common 4 sin square theta will have with 4 sin square theta plus 4 sin theta minus of 3 equal to 0 so either sin theta is equal to 0 or 4 sin square theta plus 6 sin theta minus 2 sin theta minus 3 equal to 0 we further solve this 2 sin theta minus of 1 2 sin theta plus of 3 equal to 0 therefore sin theta is equal to half sin not equal to minus 3 by 2 therefore since we know that sin theta should be greater than or equal to 1 so minus value will be neglected so we get theta n pi or we can write theta is equal to n pi plus of minus 1 n pi by 6 that is theta is equal to pi n plus 1 minus raised to n by 6 which is our option C option C is a correct answer question 20 the determinant which is given over here that is an A B C and alpha alpha is equal to 0 if we have four options that is in condition A B C are in A P B A B C are in G P C A B C are in H P d alpha is the root of the equation a x square plus b x plus c is equal to 0 we have one more that is e x minus alpha is a factor of a x square plus 2 b x plus c so we solve the determinant that is we take row apply row the r3 r3 minus of alpha r1 minus of r2 we solve that we get as a b 0 b c 0 we get a alpha plus b b alpha plus c we get alpha a alpha plus b minus b alpha minus c which is equal to 0 we further solve this we get as minus a alpha square plus 2 b alpha plus c a c minus of b square is equal to 0 so the determinant vanishes if ac minus of b square is equal to 0 or a alpha square plus 2b alpha plus c equal to 0 that is if a b c are in gp or alpha is a root of a x square 2b x plus c equal to 0 that is we can write uh, where a b c is in gp and a sorry the alpha is a root of alpha is a root of a x square plus 2 b x plus of c equal to 0 which is our option b and e 
एज अ करेक्ट आंसर क्वेश्चन ट्वेंटी वन इफ द एजॉइंट ऑफ थ्री इंटू थ्री मैट्रिक्स पी इज वन टू वन फोर वन वन फोर सेवन थ्री देन द पॉसिबल वैल्यू एस ऑफ द डिटर्मिनेंट ऑफ पी इज आर वी फोर ऑप्शन ए माइनस टू बी माइनस वन सी वन एंड डी टू सो लेट ए बी दैट इज इक्वल टू ए ऑफ आई जे थ्री इंटू थ्री एट जॉइंट ऑफ ए इज इक्वल टू वन टू वन फोर वन वन फोर सेवन थ्री वी सॉल्व दिस वी टेक एट जॉइंट दैट इज एट जॉइंट ए ऑफ द टर्मिनल वी गेट वन थ्री माइनस सेवन माइनस फोर सिक्स माइनस सेवन प्लस फोर टू माइनस वन विच इज इक्वल टू फोर वी सॉल्व दिस डिटर्मिनल ऑफ थ्री माइनस वन इक्वल टू फोर वी गेट टू फोर सो दैट फोर डिटर्मिनेंट ऑफ ए इज प्लस माइनस ऑफ टू विच इज अवर ऑप्शन ए एंड डी सो ए एंड डी आर बोथ आर द करेक्ट आंसर क्वेश्चन ट्वेंटी इफ द सिस्टम ऑफ इक्वेशन ए एक्स प्लस वाई प्लस जेड इज इक्ट जीरो एक्स प्लस बी वाई प्लस जेड इज इक्ट जीरो एंड एक्स प्लस वाई प्लस सी जेड इज इक्ट जीरो वे ए बी सी आर नॉट इक्वल टू वन हैज नो ट्रेवल सोल्यूशन देन द वैल्यू ऑफ वन अपॉन वन माइनस ए प्लस वन अपॉन वन माइनस बी प्लस वन अपॉन वन माइनस सी इस वी हैव फोर ऑप्शन ए माइनस वन बी जीरो सी वन डी नन ऑफ दिस एज अ सिस्टम ऑफ इक्वेशन एज नॉन ट्रेवल सोल्यूशन सो प्लीज चेक दैट दैट इज नॉन ट्रेवल सोल्यूशन सो द डिटर्मिनेंट ए वन 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 बी वन 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 एंड सी is equal to 0 so we can write this as a minus of 1 minus of a 1 minus of a 1 b minus of 1 0 1 0 c minus 1 please note that we have done the row shifting that is r2 of r2 minus of 1 so by also by r3 root Which is equal to R three minus of R one. We solve this further. We get A B minus of one, C minus of one, minus one, one minus of A C minus of one, minus of one into one minus A B minus one equal to zero. We solve this. We get one. That is A one minus A plus one one minus B plus One one by c equal to zero. If we further solve this, we get as one one minus a minus one plus one one minus b plus one minus c one upon one minus c is equal to zero. So we the we get the answer as one upon one minus a plus one upon one minus b plus one upon one c, which is equal to one, which is our option c. Option C is a correct answer. Question twenty three: If A is not equal to P, B is not equal to Q, C is not equal to R, and we have determined P B C, P plus A, Q plus B, two C, A B R is equal to zero, then P upon P minus A plus Q upon Q minus B plus R upon R minus C is equal to. We have four options: A three, B two, C one, and D zero. the determinant which we have that is p p plus a a b q plus b b c 2 c r we solve this by applying row r2 r2 minus of r1 so we get as P A A B Q B C C R determinant is equal to zero. Applying R two R two minus of R one and R three R three minus of R one. 
so we take determinant that is p a minus p a minus p b q minus b 0 c 0 or minus c determinant is equal to 0 so on expansion we get p q minus b r minus c minus of b a minus p r minus c minus of c q minus b a minus p equal to 0 we solve this we get p minus q q minus b r minus c p upon p minus a plus of b upon q minus b plus of c upon r minus c which is equal to 0 so therefore we further solve we get p minus a q minus b r minus c into p p minus a plus of b q minus b plus of c r minus c minus of 1 equal to 0 for p not equal to a q not equal to b and r not equal to c therefore we get p upon p minus a plus of q upon q minus b plus of r upon r minus c equal to 2 which is our option b so option b is a correct answer Question 24. If A, we have a matrix that is cos square theta, sin theta, cos theta, sin theta, cos theta, and sin square theta, where B is equal to cos square phi, sin phi, cos phi, sin phi, cos phi, and sin square phi, and theta and phi differs by pi by 2, then AB is equal to, we have four options, A1, B0, C minus 1, and D, none of this. We solve A and B, A into B. We substitute the value of A into B, we get cos theta cos phi cos theta minus phi cos theta एक मिनट ऊपर देख जल्दी कैसा आ रहा है देख cos theta sin phi cos theta minus phi cos phi sin theta cos theta minus of phi sin theta sin phi cos theta minus of phi we solve this we take cos theta minus phi cos theta cos phi cos theta sin phi cos phi sin theta sin theta sin phi we solve it solve this we expand that is we know that theta minus of phi is equal to pi by 2 we get the value of 0 therefore option b is the correct answer question 25 let p is equal to a of ij b uh, 3 into 3 matri matrix and let q is equal to b of ij where b of ij is equal to 2 raised to i plus j a ij for i greater than equal to 1 and j less than equal to 3 if the determinant of p is 2 then the determinant of the matrix q is we have four options a 2 raised to 10 b 2 raised to 11 c 2 raised to 12 d 2 raised to 13 given p is equal to equal to a of i j 3 by 3 matrix and b of ij is equal to 2 i plus of j ij and q is equal to b of ij 3 to 3 therefore we solve we get for p we get as a11 a 1 2 a 1 3 a 2 1 a 2 2 
ए टू थ्री ए थ्री वन थ्री टू ए थ्री थ्री फॉर पी डिटर्मेंट वी गेट एस टू फॉर क्यू वी कैन राइट एट आस बी वन वन बी वन टू बी वन थ्री बी टू वन बी टू टू बी टू थ्री बी थ्री वन बी थ्री टू बी थ्री थ्री विच इज इक्वल टू फोर ऑफ ए वन वन एट ऑफ ए वन टू सिक्सटीन ऑफ ए वन थ्री एट ऑफ ए टू वन सिक्सटीन ऑफ ए टू टू थर्टी टू ऑफ ए ट्वेंटी थ्री सिक्सटीन ऑफ ए थ्री वन थर्टी टू ऑफ ए थ्री टू सिक्सटी फोर ऑफ ए थ्री थ्री फॉर डिटर्मिनेंट ऑफ क्यू वी गेट एस फोर ए वन वन एट ऑफ ए टू वन सिक्सटीन ऑफ ए थ्री वन एट ऑफ ए वन टू सिक्सटीन ऑफ ए थर्टीन सिक्सटीन ऑफ ए ट्वेंटी टू थर्टी टू ऑफ ए ट्वेंटी थ्री थर्टी टू ऑफ ए थर्टी टू सिक्सटी फोर ऑफ ए थर्टी थ्री वी सॉल्व दिस वी गेट एस फोर इंटू एट इंटू सिक्सटीन ए वन वन ए वन टू ए वन थ्री ए टू वन ए टू टू ए टू थ्री ए थ्री वन ए थ्री टू ए थ्री थ्री वी गेट फॉर द सॉरी दिस इज टू ऑफ ए टू वन एंड दिस इज फोर ऑफ ए थ्री वन सो फॉर द वी सिंप्लीफाई वी सॉल्व वी गेट फोर इंटू एट इंटू सिक्सटीन इंटू टू इंटू फोर विच इज ए वन वन ए टू वन ए थ्री वन ए वन टू ए टू टू ए थ्री टू ए वन थ्री ए टू थ्री ए थ्री थ्री फॉर द वी सॉल्व वी गेट टू रेस टू 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 रेस टू थ्री टू रेस टू फोर टू रेस टू वन टू रेस टू 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 रेस टू वन टू रेस टू वन सो वी फॉर द सॉल्व इट वी गेट टू रेस टू थर्टीन सो दे फोर our option d matches to the answer therefore d is a correct answer question 26 if a is equal to determinant which is given in sin and cos and 1 then we have four options a b c and d for a we solve for a that is we do row apply row method that is r2 we change r2 as r2 minus of r1 R three, R three minus of R one, so we get as so we solve for A. We expand it. We get as cos theta plus gamma minus of cos theta plus alpha into sine theta plus beta minus of sin theta plus alpha minus of cos theta plus of beta minus of cos theta plus alpha sin theta plus gamma minus sin theta plus alpha So, which is equal to sine beta minus gamma. For the solving it, we get sine beta minus gamma, sine beta minus alpha minus sine alpha minus gamma. Which is, if we see, there is no term of theta in the last equation. Therefore, it is independent of theta. Therefore, D is a correct answer. Question twenty seven. The number of distinct real roots of we have determined. Sin x, cos x, cos x. 
cos x sin x cos x cos x cos x and sin x which is equal to 0 in the interval of x greater than equal to minus 4 by pi by 4 less than equal to pi by 4 is yes, we have four options a0 b2 c1 and d3 we take sin and cos common we get as 2 cos x plus of sin x determinant 1 1 1 cos x cos x sin x cos x cos x sin x equal to 0 we further solve this we get tan x is equal to minus 2 comma 1 that is tan x not equal to minus 2 we can say that tan x value cannot be negative so we neglect the negative answer therefore for tan x we take as 1 so the n pi by 4 minus pi by 4 to pi by 4 so therefore x value can be pi by 4 which is our option we see we get tan x is equal to 1 so we compare with the option we get option c as a correct answer question 28 if f of x have a determinant which, which is 1 x x plus 1 2 x x into x minus 1 x plus 1 into x 3x into x minus 1 x x minus 1 x minus 2 x plus 1 x x minus 1 then f of 100 is we have four options a0 b1 c 100 and d minus 100 we apply column c1 that is c1 c1 minus of c3 and c2 c2 minus of c3 and taking x x minus 1 and x plus 1 as common so we get x x plus 1 x minus 1 determinant of 1 2 x 3 x 1 x minus 1 x minus 2 1 x and x for the solving this expanding we get as x x plus 1 x minus 1 minus 2x plus 2x which is equal to 0 we solve this fx is equal to 0 therefore f of 100 is equal to 0 therefore our options a option a is a correct answer <coughs> question 29 if a matrix a is such that 4 a cube plus 2a square plus 7a plus i is equal to 0 then a inverse equal to we have 4 options given 4a cube plus of 2a square plus of 7a plus of i is equal to 0 we pre multiply with a inverse on both the side we get as a inverse of 4a cube plus of 2a square plus of 7a plus of i equal to 0 we solve this we get 4i a square plus of 2i a plus of 7i plus of a inverse i is equal to 0 a inverse we solve this further we get 4i we take i common we get 4 into a square plus 2a plus 7 plus of a inverse i equal to 0 we get a inverse minus 4a square plus of 2a plus of 7i which is our option b option b is a correct answer question 30 for how many values of s of x is a closed interval which is given in minus 4 comma minus 1 as a matrix we have matrix of 3 minus 1 plus x 2 3 minus 1 x plus 2 x plus 3 minus 1 and 2 singular we have four options a2 b0 c3 and d1 for singular matrix should be equal to 0 we apply row 
transformation r2 r2 to minus r1 r3 r3 minus of r1 we get 3 minus x plus 2 sorry minus 1 plus x and 2 0 minus x x x of minus x 0 which is equal to 0 we expanded we solve we get x plus 4 0 plus x square equal to 0 which is x is equal to minus 4 comma 0 so therefore therefore we see x belongs to minus 4 comma 0 so therefore 4 minus 4 belongs to minus 4 comma minus 1 which is our option D option D is a correct answer